Uh, yes, I know, Jill. It's, uh, I've been a while since last time. Yo, guys, it's your buddy Bulldozer Man. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Last time, ooh, last time was just a roller coaster. We went on the train, made it to the clock tower. We did a bunch of stuff around the clock tower, fought Nemesis, got infected, played as, played as Carlos. Something, 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 uh, dark side. And we kicked Nemesis' ass multiple times, including as Carlos. Which means, when I step out here and fight him as Jill, he's gonna be weaker because, uh, how this game handles, uh, stats and whatnot, uh, Jill herself has about, uh, 200 points of health. Nemesis has around, <laughs> has around, uh, 800. When I fought him as Carlos, I knocked him down to half health. So now when Jill fights him, he's only going to take half as much pain to. You know, it's only going to take half, half as much pain to take him out. I've got seven freeze rounds left, which should be enough. You know, I got a surplus of normal rounds, and that's not enough. So. Hello, Nemi. See, he went for that. Yeah, I guess he's really mad about last time. <laughs> anyway, shoot up. Shoot, do that again. <laughs> Sturdy. There we go. Got him. <laughs> Yay, that didn't go as smoothly as I thought it would, but yeah, it only took half as much, you know, damage to drop him. That thanks a part to Carlos. Look at that. That, my friends, is the seventh and final Nemesis drop. We get the assault rifle. Same one that Carlos was using. Uh, it's only assault rifle the first time you play through on the save file. If you play through again and make it back here, it's actually an item that gives one weapon. Pretty much, uh, pretty much, uh, infinite ammo, so. You know, you can use that on the Magnum and just cheese the rest of this game. If if like if you're into that sort of thing. Anyway, we're out of freeze rounds, but thankfully, aside from uh, mandatory boss fights, we don't need to fight. You know, fight the nemesis anymore. So next time we see him, we're free to just you know, <laughs> we're free to just book it. So yeah, thank God for that don't have to fight the nemesis anymore aside from I believe two more man to toy boss fights and for everything else uh, these these uh, yeah these uh, ordinary rounds will be enough I actually I actually need the lock picks so I have to turn around and go get that <laughs> Yeah, the assault rifle. Really, really good weapon. Uh, I wouldn't advise trying to take on Nemesis without it unless you have an herb or two on standby. You no, know, as we saw last time, but it could still be a very useful weapon. Mainly for uh, spraying on zombies and, and you know, and uh, hunters. Of course, we've also got the Western Custom, which will absolutely which will absolutely demolish those <laughs> freaking hunters. It's, like, it isn't even freaking subtle. Actually, actually, you know what? The subject of the uh, grenade launcher and whatnot, I think I'm going to make some handgun bullets with these, because 
Yeah, why not? I don't think we need uh, uh, freeze rounds anymore. We won't see, like, we won't see uh, a nemesis again for a while. We'll have more herbs by then. So, yeah. Plus, I think we'll find some magma bullets. We hardly even use this yet. So, I'd say all in all, we're in. We are in uh, good shape here. Okay, we got a lockpick. Let's go. And I want to correct myself on something I said last time. I said if you're low enough on health when you use the mind thrower, it, you know, like uh, detonates in your face, it could uh, kill you. The mind thrower itself cannot kill you. But from what I understand, and uh, go back on the whole Jill having uh, 200, uh, 200 hit points thing, it knocks off about 40 points of health if you get hit by the explosion. That's like a, you know, you know, that's like a, that's like a fifth for health gone. Obviously, if that gets you down to one point, then one more attack after that, and you're gone. So the mind thrower can't kill you, but you still want to be careful. Maybe not use it in. <laughs> Like, uh, close quarters. So you'll probably just end up, like, uh, blowing yourself up. You know, that's just common sense right there. An explosive, you don't, really don't want to use it point blank. It's a park key that we we'll need. Yeah, we're... Yeah, we're about to enter a park, so I think again. Put the lockpick away for now. We won't. I need it for a little bit. Look at this. More mine for rounds. Yeah, I guess it would. I guess it wouldn't be a truly you know, a, a complete series if I didn't like if, if I didn't show off the mine thrower in some form of fashion. So we're gonna give it a try here. Can't guarantee I'm. Can't guarantee I'm, I'm gonna like, pull off much of it. Damn, I did not know that there were more rounds of Ford in there. Even so, ammo Ford is still scarce, so I don't think we're gonna see like any more rounds for it. Like for a while after this. I guess we could use it to take out some of these guys. Although it's, although it's uh, not like we need it. Not like we need it. We're not exactly starving for ammo right now. Jesus Christ! Look at this. I have over, I have over 130 bullets for the handgun in total, and a fully loaded assault rifle and a magnum I barely even used. <laughs> Jeez, I forgot got enough ammo for like. Like uh, Resident Evil 4 at this point. <laughs> we just. We just. You guys don't matter. You're a low threat <laughs> enemy, so I think I'm gonna go this way first. Down the stairs. out. Take you out. <laughs> oh. Empty. Okay, there we go. Take you out. And <laughs> take out your friend. Good. I guess we can go for it once and use the mind throw to pull out these guys. Boys, I thought I should do anything. Shh. Don't want to use the mind throw on this guy. Yeah, like I said before, that mind thrower. Not a good idea 
use it on stuff like dogs, because they'll probably end up, <laughs> they'll probably end up, like, <laughs> chasing you down, and next thing you know, you've got explosive in your face. Here's the car key, and, oh, he's holding something. All right, thank you. And, uh, one more thing. Do not use it near these explosive barrels. Just, especially if there's dogs or hunters around. Just don't use the mind thrower. I'm serious here. <laughs> just take my word for it. Is there a trash can over here? It's the rest. Is there anything inside of it? No. Okay. Let's go back. On. Do, 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 do. Let's go up here. And all the monsters here are dead. That's good. Especially you want to go this way. Now that we have this key. The leaves are still here. They're a low threat. Like enemy at best, so yeah, it's not even worth a wasting ammo on them. Just, uh, just to run past them. Back in here and dump the magnum bullets. I don't need them right now. And, yep, should be good. Actually, no. Actually, you know what? Since I'm not, since I'm not like using it right the second, there. Put the assault rifle away. I'll grab it back out later when uh, my throw is empty. You know, I don't forget. You know, I don't forget you'd be carrying four guns around. <laughs> Let's go. To the park. The beautiful park of darkness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shoot me for that one later. Go in here. We can, you know, reset the leeches so they're not all they're not all sitting by that door. <laughs> Go. No problem. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna have to make another trip to what <laughs> the item box. <laughs> Goodness, I don't need more green herbs. I need red herbs. <laughs> oh well. I'll just, I'll just see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, there we go. I grabbed all those herbs and tossed them into, <laughs> you know, I have, you know, I have, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I tossed them into the item box. Let's go over here. Look at this. Uh, I didn't see them. Not. Two black, two white. <laughs> That will open the way forward. So, let's do that. Also, I used to mine in the other room. That's why I could fully load the thing. You know, I don't care about the mine thrower, so I don't care to waste its ammo. Alright, there we go. That'll open the way forward. Board, we we will go to the next sector. Let's see. I believe there's either spiders or leeches in here. I guess they're not here yet. Jill is not. <laughs> yeah, she's not aiming that way. Oh, 
something's going on. Gotta get up there. Oh! <laughs> yeah, not dealing with you. I don't deal with leeches. Oh. A cemetery. Not a great place to be. You know, like doing a zombie apocalypse. Luckily, we got some red herbs over here. Awesome. We finally got some red herbs. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and get these two. Yeah, I could probably dodge these zombies, but again, I don't care about the mine throwers. So I'm just gonna use it for convenience sake. Including on these two. Bam! <laughs> Alright. What's in here? Oh, some kind of garden shed, it looks like. And you know what? Just so we're not wasting inventory space. Actually, no. I'll probably... Uh, yeah, I'll probably, you know, pull down these mines and use them against the next boss. Then I'll probably adopt the mine for our... So, since we got some gunpowder out here, let's go ahead and do some inventory work. Cool. Two full heals. We don't need them right the second, though, so I'll go ahead and toss it back in. And I'm actually going to take the reloading tool with me, because we got some gunpowder out here. <clears throat> yes! Gunpowder! And I believe I'm going to turn this gunpowder into handgun and shotgun ammo, because... As I said before, freeze rounds are cool, but, you know, aside from mandatory boss fights with, like, I don't know, five other <laughs> weapons to pick from, we really don't need <laughs> our freeze rounds anymore, so... Oh. Oh. Oh, shoot, <laughs> why did I do that? I said it was going to make handgun shotgun bullets. Oh, well, I'll make some more. <laughs> Grenade rounds for our <laughs> grenade launcher. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we got like so many normal rounds for. Must get some more. <laughs> it's an iron pipe. Get that. Let's go drop some stuff in the box. Mainly, toss this back in here. Where's the grenade launcher? There it is. Cool. 41 shots for it. Yeah, we got a lot of firepower here. We actually, we actually need the lighter shot to be enough. I reckon that'll do it for now. <laughs> yeah, you see the first aid spray there. It's probably going to be staying there. because I don't need it. I got so many freaking herbs right now, it's, it's not even funny. Anyway, we burn away all that with the lighter. Because we do be like that, and we finally get rid of it. Jeez, that lighter we've had this whole game, it's finally gone. <laughs> Pipe to, well, open this up. Let's see what we have. Ooh, this is interesting. Someone was doing stuff here. Cleaning things involving a supervisor, apparently. This right here. We'll need this for the area where we found those magnum bullets. That's in the HQ. Interesting. Can't 
do anything with that. This body doesn't have anything. This vest has something. Some ink ribbons. Lovely. Even though I don't need them. <laughs> there should be... Yes! Grenade rounds! Oops, we love... <laughs> grenade rounds. <laughs> Nothing else here. Nothing else. Right, nothing else here. Let's be on our way. Oh. All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. Hmm. Very interesting. Anyway. Forward we go. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. You! And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? <laughs> I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Ah! Uh-oh. Another mutant! That's not good. Looks like we got trouble. Oh boy, we better go get... We better go get set for a battle. <laughs> Part of that includes throwing this ink ribbon into here, because it offends me. Seriously, eight ink ribbons. I'm probably only going to save maybe one more time in this project before it's over. Let's see how a newbie will, will probably, like, will probably, like, need, need the extra help, but definitely not me. Wait. Take the mine thrower. Where's the ammo for it? There's those other mines I had. Uh, there. Yeah, I think we can show off the grenade launcher, but. Yeah, actually, you know what? Screw the mine thrower. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, you use it some other time. Not for this fight, because I want all my herbs, you know, all my strongest firepower for this. Actually, there we go. Seven. Awesome. There. Alright. Our... Oh, our Yep, our inventory looks good. Let's load the flame rounds and get moving. This is gonna be one heck of a fight. It's the only boss in the game that is not freaking Nemesis. <laughs> and of course, it's one, it's a fight that's, that's like, yeah, that's, uh, well, it's a battle that's absent in the remake. What's going on? Whoa! <gasps> oh my! What is that? Say hello to the grave digger. He's back. This time, he's here to play. Run. Yeah, this fight can be pretty rough, especially if we don't have a lot of good ammo. Like this one. He ran right into him. Yeah. <laughs> Did it again? <laughs> yeah, you can mess you up pretty good if you don't know where he is. Thank you. 
There he is. Run. Comes. Dodged him. All right, flame rounds are gone. Time for the normal rounds. Get away. That did some damage. I think we can take one more hit before I have to heal. Oh. Alright, when you've done enough, when you've done sufficient damage to him, that happens. At this point, we probably want to get the eagle out. Need to lure him into that body of water. Water and you know, freaking down light poles don't mix, so there you go. Lost a little health there, but we're still okay. You know, we still got an herb left, so let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. Should be able to avoid these guys as long as we keep moving. Nope. No problem. So that was the Grave Digger boss. <laughs> Quite dangerous, but. <laughs> we got through it. Somehow. I would like to get back to that item box before. Uh oh. Not good. What the? Chill, why did you aim at that thing? <laughs> well, I'll have to heal now. Would have liked to get back to the item box and use a couple greens to heal up instead of my full heal, but I guess zombies want to show up here, so there you go. And I don't know why Jill uh, aimed at that light. It's kind of weird to me, but I guess she just felt like shooting it. Go away. Yeah, just shoot and run. <laughs> shoot and run. Well, since I don't need to heal right this minute, I yeah, I might as well <laughs> keep moving. I wonder if I wanted something else to show up here. Nope. We're all good. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I did not expect zombies to show up there. <laughs> Jeez, has anything shown up here? That I should have... Uh, I should be aware of? No? Alright, and in that case... Fuck that barrel. <laughs> Just to have some fun. Alright. Let's go for here. 
Anything around here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. This way. Oh. No. It's you know who. <laughs> Hello, Nemesis. All right. The best jump off. <laughs> yeah, uh, depending on your choice there, that will affect the ending you get. We are now on the way to get the ending that does not show up in the freaking remake. Now, this ending that we're going to get here was actually cut was actually cut you know, from the remake for some baffling reason I do not understand. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. Ooh. Thankfully. Rescuing you is becoming a full-time job. Carlos. Thanks, Carlos. I owe you. Listen closely, Jill. They're going to launch a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. Missile? At dawn? But, but that's only... I know. We don't have much time left. We have to split up and find a way out of here. And hey, watch out for that traitor, Nikolai. It is missiles. It is missiles. <laughs> uh, point if anyone. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Point if anybody <laughs> gets that reference. But yeah, we get rushed by zombies. Carlos helps us. And now, ooh, the stakes are getting higher. They're firing a missile into Raccoon City. Let's just say we don't want to be here when that missile. Shows up. There's some ink rivets if you need them. Just toss those in there. Grab the micro route so we can, so we can uh, finish using that. After that, we'll probably never see it again. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we got a water sample here. I think you guys know what's coming up next. Oh. It is arguably the worst puzzle in any Resident Evil game, period. Even the puzzles in RE7 and Village do not compare to this. Let's put the micro on. Just cause I can. Ugh. All the wasting ammo if you want to. I just want to shoot that damn thing. Not even, not even <laughs> gonna let the mine explode. This. This. Ugh. This stupid puzzle. This puzzle is very infamous. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest here. I may need to off screen this for like a while until I actually solve it. So I'll I'll see you guys whenever I solve this damn thing. Uh, has anyone seen my knife? Anyone? Where could I put that thing? Darn it. Hey, buddies. Can I get some help here? Sweet! <laughs> damn, I think that only took me like a couple of minutes, but damn. But that's the fastest I've ever solved that puzzle. 
I guess it's not that bad when you actually uh, like know what you're doing and you know get a lucky configuration there, but I've heard horror stories of people who've been stuck on that puzzle for like over like over 15 minutes. It's that vile. <laughs> Capcom, I love you guys, but please, in Resident Evil 9 and in the Code Veronica remake, don't make any more puzzles like that one. I know puzzles are supposed to be brain taxing, but not for over a quarter of an hour. Jesus Christ. I'm willing to bet whoever designed that water sample puzzle probably got fired. Just call it a hunch. <laughs> anyway, we got the assault rifle out. We're gonna be using it here once I once I once I use it the live thrower. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I panicked there and shot the thing twice. Come on. I'm down the stairs. Come on. Yeah, of course it's not. Of course he won't come down here. Come on. Come here. Fine, screw you then. Eat assault right. I didn't feel like shooting you with the mind thrower anyway. There's one more over there. I'll probably try to peg him with it just to use up those last two shots. Yeah, got it. That's the end of <laughs> the mind thrower. We don't need it because we got plenty of shotgun shells right here. Jesus Christ, just look at all this ammo we have. <laughs> we probably have enough, again, we probably have enough for, uh, for, for Resident Evil 4. <laughs> I'm gonna backtrack it. Yeah. I'm gonna go back and dump the mine thrower. We don't need it. It's a done its job. Like, the only reason I used it was a bunch of guys I probably you know, could have dodged. I only used it to show why, you know, to talk about why I don't use it. <laughs> oh, fare thee well, mind thrower. I guess we'll see you in, uh, yeah, in, uh, I guess we'll see you whenever I decide to play <laughs> like <laughs> Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Okay, past the water sample puzzle. Got plenty of ammo and our herb handy. I think we're ready to proceed. Ah, sorry, I had to clear my throat there. And by the way, that room where we uh, where we uh, did the water sample puzzle. Remember that room. We'll be back in there later. All right, up we go. Forwards. Oh, get away from me. He's dead. Mm, we got some city monsters hanging around. Bam! <laughs> what the hell? I aimed up at his head. How did that miss? Jeez. You know what? That's the second time that's happened. I try to aim the Western Custom at a zombie's head at point blank, and it just completely misses. How? That's supposed to, like, take your head off, not just completely whiff. <laughs> Jeez. I don't get it. Oh well, I guess that's why we got herbs around.
Plus an assault rifle. That just tears those guys a new one. <laughs> yeah, if we did get to see it too much with Carlos, because I was, you know, saving its ammo for Nemesis. Now we're really going to get to see, like, the assault rifle shine. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Nikolai? Freaking Nikolai, I swear. That guy's a real asshole. Uh, I guess they wrote him in that. You know, they uh, they wrote his uh, character and you know, left that on purpose. <laughs> they want you to hate him so that we can finally give him his <laughs> his uh, you know, it's just dues. It's much more satisfying. Yeah, I got stuff in here, but first I gotta drop a few things. Herb, herb, herb. So many green herbs. Give me a red herb for once. Sheesh. <laughs> anyway. The little key. Need that. More ways than one. Guess we got some gunpowder. So we got three vials of it. Cool. So I'm gonna have to put this away. Drop that for now. This up. This up. I just gotta combine them first. Again, I'm gonna make shotgun and uh, handgun ammo because we got more than enough grenade launcher ammo to last. And again, I haven't even used the magnum yet. Just got like 11 shots of that. I know where to find more ammo for it, so. I want handgun and shotgun ammo because I'm actually going to use those. I suppose I could just John, like. I suppose I could just John, like, Rambo it with the. You know, like, heavier firepower from here on out, but. Yeah. Yeah, look at all that ammo. You've almost got a full stack of handgun bullets. We're probably close to a full stack of shotgun shells. Yeah, we still got plenty of ammo for the Magnum. We're in really good shape here. Just look at all that ammo for the g launcher. Uh, let's see what's this way. I think there's another puzzle that we have to do. What are these blue herbs? Don't want them. We don't need. Uh, we don't need stinky blue herbs. We need red herbs. What is this? Can't check the sign. Nothing in there. Okay. Got a steam pressure puzzle. We need to press a bunch of buttons to get to that console right there. Although, I've seen it happen if you actually keep dashing at it and uh, checking it, even with the steam there, you can, like, you can't actually, like, uh, uh, interact with that. I don't know how or why it works, but it just does, so, yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> Worky game design. Done that. Get over here. Get those. I don't actually know the solution for this puzzle, so I'm kind of just, you know, blindly guessing here. I think one of these will open it up now. There. Got it. All right. That door is finally open. Still have to push a switch to get back, though. <laughs> Some reason. Another one. Boop. There we go. 
Uh, you can see this elevator here. We'll be back here for that later. Actually, before we move on, there's something we want to go do with this. We're gonna head back to the room. Oh! I hear another one. Yeah, screw it. Just, <laughs> just go through the door. Yeah, it's actually something we want to go do with this key. So I'll meet you back in the water sample room. Okay, guys, back in here where we did the water sample puzzle. There's this machine right here. There we go. Our facility key has been updated. This will be very important very soon. Anyway. Some stuff around. Uh, I think we're running out of potential red herbs we can use. I don't know where any more of them are, so I think I'm going to make another full heal right here. Another half heal that I'll use next time I get down to Orange Caution. Yep. I'll save those other two for later. Okay, I'll meet you back upstairs. Okay, guys, we're back here. We've got our key, we've got our herbs, we've got our stuff. I think I'm going to put the Western Custom on. Let's go. I think we've got... Well, we definitely have enough ammo to, like... I'll finish the game at this point. Uh, actually, we need this. Insert the disc to open the door. Alright, here we go. What do we got in here? Warning. Proceeding with oh, operation in treatment. Please evacuate immediately. Oh, that's not good. We're locked in. Stars. Worse, he's around. Yep, it's another nemesis battle. Stars. Just look at him. This man has taken some abuse over the course of this game. Oh, those things are ejecting acid. I don't really like that very much. Anyway, it's another showdown with Nemesis. This time we're on a time limit. We cannot escape this one. So, I really hope you're good at fighting him by now. I clearly am not because I got hit by that. Get up, get up. Run. Is that now? Run. Back here with the pelt with the assault rifle. Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna hit him, but I'll try. Nope. No dice, so I gotta spray more bullets in the one. Way. Fire again. Run. Somehow didn't get hit there. <laughs> run. Run, 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 run. Oh. 
Yeah. Shit. Don't want to do that. I wonder how she dumped the acid on him. Let's dodge that. I even hit that with the assault rifle. Yeah. Who cares? Run. Dodge. Shoot him. Move. Is he down? Yep, he's down. Back. Yeah, what you're supposed to do is uh, dump the acid on him, but I'm not having the best of luck with that, so I may have to just uh, uh, I'm, I may have just have to do this fight the brute force way. Which is uh, it's okay with me. I got the ammo for it. Oh. Yes! There goes his head! He's down. Yeah, the fight really isn't all that tough because he can't because he can't even like <laughs> sprint after you anymore, so. Really, if you're even decently good at dodging his attacks, you should be fine. Yeah, the assault rifle helps a lot with that battle, because it just does so much damage to him. You can't really, you know. You can't really, like, spread to catch up with you, so you can just, like, you know, go back and forth like I did and just spray him with it. And hopefully you'll have uh, better luck with him going down in front of the acid things. You can use those to take him out faster. I was having pretty terrible luck there, so... Yeah. Thankfully, I had the ammo to, you know, soak the loss. Missile attack confirmed. Uh-oh. All personnel, evacuate immediately. Ooh, that's not good. Looks like we're in the finale. Yep, Raccoon City's getting nuked. We gotta get the heck out of here. You have any, you have any, like, uh, heavy firepower left? Now's the time to use it. Assault rifles out of ammo. Too bad. Let's go in the item room. Save room, rather. Dump a few things. Because we can. I'm trying to think here. I know there's a few. Uh, uh, I know there's a few things in this next room, so. So I'm going to take that with us. Need that. A launcher. Huh. Yep, I think that should be good. Yeah, actually, I think I'll, uh... I think I'm going to adopt the eagle at this point. Cause we probably have enough uh, shotgun shells that we don't need it. Anyway, here. Is that to activate the elevator? Then we go down. <clears throat> There's some lovely grenade rounds right there. I think it's, I think it's a, 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 a 12 in total. Yep. Load them in. 50 grenade rounds, not bad. Here and actually, I'll be uh, I'll be uh, back in a second, guys. Okay, okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I had to go care of something, but 
Anyway, you can use that key here. Oh, yes! We get the rocket launcher. Just what we need for the final act. So with that hand, let's get going. Do I have my herbs? No, no I don't. Uh, I should probably get those. <laughs> Yep, I think uh, uh, I reckon that'll be good. We're uh, about to use that key card, so I'm not too concerned about that. Anyway, let's go. Uh, okay. Just making sure. Don't want to get caught by surprise. Use this. Open the door. Some bears. And not even gonna bother going for headshots at this point. Yeah, there is really no point. Oh, more herbs. Oh, can't carry anything else. Alright then. Pretty sure these are the final herbs in. Like, in, well, no, in, in the game, I want to say, so, yeah, I'll just use that one and get back to full health. This room, if we look around, that's a magnum, magnum rounds right there, we may need to use it. <laughs> In here. Uh, aha! First aid spray? No. Screw you in your first aid sprays. <laughs> Alright, right here we got this little doodad. Can't do anything there, can't do anything there. Uh oh? What's this? You're still alive. Such persistence. Nikolai? Sorry, but there is no escape from here. Oh, jeez. Bloody hell. All right. <laughs> Think fast. I'm going to do this one. So, you want to get out of here alone? Is that your plan? I made certain none of the other supervisors survive. Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. They want you eliminated for reasons of their own. The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. Although I'm sure I'll miss you, it's time to say goodbye. You can either accept death with dignity or die with regret. It's entirely up to you. And there goes <laughs> a Nikolai. Jill, what happened? Carlos, Nikolai beat us to the chopper. Damn. I guess this is it then. But I don't want to die in a place like this. This isn't over yet. I'm not giving up, Jill. We still have a chance. Yeah, you said it. I am not going to give up. Uh, there's um yeah, there's a there's a, no point going back by the way I should mention if you choose to return fire you do have to actually fight Nikolai and 
you can take him out with one shot to hook up with the rocket launcher, but otherwise that chopper can take some real punishment. Really? Is it really? Is it uh, really worth it? I don't think so. Jill, that's it. We've got to find a way out of here now. <laughs> that's a good idea. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Here we go. Missile attack confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. Alright, that seals off. That opens up. And. Ooh. Well, it's officially. Uh, well, it's a, a race against the clock. You gotta get going. If there's anything else you need from the item box, grab it now. That said, I think we'll be good with what we got. Swap that around. Get the handy in case we need it again. I know one of these zombie bodies is not actually dead. That one. Take that. Reload. Alright, let's make sure that one's dead. Some shotgun shells. Like, right over here if you need them. Which I don't, but I'll, I'll take them anyway. Alright, full health. Got two herbs. Plenty of weapons and ammo, so I think we're set. Oh. Except for whatever that was. This file right here is really easy to miss. So make sure you don't miss it. I believe. Huh. Wow, we only missed two files. <laughs> Shocking. Anyway, here we go. Into this room. Stuff is going on. None of these bodies have anything, as far as I know, so don't bother Checking with the time with them. System. They're interesting. Checking battery. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system. Hmm, so we have to. We need to connect the batteries, eh? Oh, I reckon we can do that. Push it in. Battery connected. That's one. Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Jeez. Ugh, Nemesis, you really let yourself go. Oh, that's an end of game boss right there. Where the hell am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> yeah, Nemesis is back. In, Joe, come on. Ow. Push it in. Jeez. She will not push it in. Uh, it's, a, it's a damn good thing we have that rocket launcher. As soon as it goes back up, I'm gonna try to put the battery in. Do it. Do it. Got it. Shit. I get the last battery in. There we go. Real cannon has been activated. Executing quick charge. 
Rail cannons online. It's here for some reason. We're actually going to use that to take out Nemesis. Uh, I think I better get clear before I take a shot at him. Yeah, direct hit. Shit, turn around, Jill. Come on. It's not good. I gotta try and get behind him somehow. Alright, there we go. We're good. Let's load it. And I'll, I'll just mag them. Take that, I mean. Back up. And there you go. Once he's hurt bad enough, the rail cans online. That is it. For Nemesis. He's finished. Warning. System overheating. Enter cooldown mode. Now that he's beaten, well, that door opens. By the way, Nemesis is really tanky in that fight. Make sure you uh, get the rocket launcher before you actually fight him. <laughs> Otherwise, that battle might take a while. Uh oh. Oh man. He just will not give up. Sorry, Nemesis, but uh, you're kind of done in this game. Yeah, Joe, do it. Finish him off. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Classic badass of Joe for Valentine One. <laughs> Classic games could have really used some more of those. There we go. Nemesis is gone. We are gonna heck out of here. <laughs> and once we uh, set our death over here. Jill! It's over, Carlos. What are you talking about? Don't you hear that? There's a second chopper, and it's here to rescue you. But who is it? Who could possibly be looking for me? It doesn't matter. We just have to be there when it lands. At this point, guys, feel free to set the controller down and watch the ending. So we've done it. Game is over. And because we chose to uh, jump off the bridge, we get a very special ending. Thanks, you saved us. I couldn't let you die. Is, is it you? Are you ready to finish this? And have a Jill sandwich afterwards? It's coming! <laughs> yeah. is going down. A 
And now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Bacalus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. Uh, rest in peace, Raccoon City. You will be missed for pretty much the rest of the franchise. Well, guys, that's it. That was Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Fantastic game. This has to be one of my favorites in the series. I first experienced this game back in the PlayStation 1 early PS2 days, and this, alongside Resident Evil 2, forever solidified this series as one of gaming's greatest in my eyes. I can't say as much about the remake, unfortunately. The remake that came out a few years ago. It did a lot of things that a lot of people did not agree with. It got rid of the clock tower section. The park was gone. All of the weapons you get for fighting the... Uh, the, uh, the uh, nemesis were gone. The mercenaries mode, which is arguably, you know, the biggest reason, you know, to... Like, the, like, replay this game, that's gone, so really, aside from fixing up some of the characterization and the new story, the remake really doesn't have a lot going for it over this, you know, over this old school PS1 game, so, yeah, I understand the remake does have its fans and it does have its appeal in this series, but I'm ultimately left wondering, what were the... Like, what were the devs going for? Who was their target audience? Like, really, what was the point? Especially after, you know, the Resident Evil 2 remake was so fantastic. Then they, then they remade this game and botched it. I just don't understand, and I think I'd have to play the remake for myself to figure it out. You know, you know whenever I can spare, like, $70 to afford it, but... Anyway, that's the remake. It sucks. This game still kicks so much ass. What the hell is that grade? I only saved four times. I didn't use any first aid sprays. It's probably because of my time. Yeah, that grade kind of sucks. But you know what? That's kind of, you know, the appeal of these games. Like, you can play something like this or like, or like Resident Evil 2. Or really, like, basically, <laughs> like any of the game in the series, and it's kind of like you know, learning to play some some sort of a, a musical, <laughs> like, <laughs> instrument. The first time you pick it up, you have no idea what the hell you're doing, and you're probably, you're probably <laughs> gonna suck eggs at it. Hello, DSB Gaming. But then, as time goes on, you. Get better at it, you get better at it. Next thing you know, you're pumping out consistent, like, A's and B's. Yeah, I found that a lot of early, like, like Capcom games are like that. And frankly, I think that's why, you know, Capcom, you know, like, kicked a lot of ass back then. When they weren't turning out uh, trashy remakes. <laughs> yeah. I love Resident Evil 2 remake and Resident Evil 4 remake, but... Resident Evil 3 Remake. That one... Oof. If you really have a choice, get this uh, a PS1 version. It may not have, you know, some of the features that, you know, that the remake has, but... Well... At least, uh... <laughs> at least, you know... <laughs> at least <laughs> this game didn't bomb. And we unlocked the Mercenaries mode. Pretty cool. 
And we got the boutique key. Am I going to play mercenaries mode and show off uh, some of the extras? Eh, probably not. I, f I think I'm, f I think I'm uh, <laughs> done with this game now. Yeah, you know what? I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. This game is still just so, so, so precious to me. And I'm glad that I was able to, you know, do this series and really, you know, do this game justice. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to say right now, because I lost multiple, <laughs> like, 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 I've lost multiple recording sessions because of, you know, accidental misclicks, uh, stupid, stupid boss exploits, and, you know, these two nitwits that I'm staying with, so don't expect another series with full, you know, commentary like this one, uh, really anytime soon, because I like, you know, giving you guys some insight on the game as I'm playing it, but if people are just going to be like, 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 ha <laughs> ha. Like, I'll put it this way. If people are going to interrupt my, my freaking, my, my recording sessions and not expect to get punched in the face for it, then there's just no reason. I'd rather keep these things no commentary. So, yeah, that's where we stand as far as that goes. So, yeah, maybe we'll see some more full commentary stuff later. Maybe we won't. It remains to be seen. Pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> Epilogue there. You get a different one, like, like, like each time you finish the game, so yeah. Might be something to look forward to. Anywho, guys. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share for more. And, well, see you next time.